Greetings, Internet, and welcome again to another episode of Insane Ian Finds Weirdness in Foods. Welcome back. If you remember last week's episode, I, uh, I kind of got into some snacks that uh, I apparently shouldn't have. So, uh, in order to make amends, I ventured out myself and got some more of them so that, uh, the thing that she was saving them for, she, she could use. I'm still not sure what that is. I think she's just eating them, not, not sharing them with me. Considering how many I ate, that's fair. But, while I was out getting replacements, because nobody else is out there buying Easter candy, there's a ton of Easter candy just still sitting there in stores because... This. I also managed to find some other snacks. One of those things are these really weird, savory Pringles. We've got Pringles Reuben and Pringles Rotisserie Chicken. Pringles, are you okay? Are you in trouble? Do you need help? What's going on? Now, I found these, I think, either the same day or, like, uh, the day before uh, the Tri Channel did their own uh, weird Pringles flavor video. I was actually looking for the Rick and Morty Pickle Rick flavored Pringles, but I haven't found that yet. But I did find these two weird things, so that's what we're gonna try. They tried a bunch of uh, weird Pringles flavors too, but all of those flavors were apparently from Australia. Like, I, I would I would like to try those. There's a bunch of things from Australia that I want to try. Mostly I really want to try the Mountain Dew Doritos. So if I have any fans in Australia that would like to send those to me, please send those to me. You can contact me and my various social media things that are linked at the end of the video, and I'll put a link in the description as well. But uh, yeah, I've not been able to get a hold of those, and I really, really would like to because my curiosity is strong. But, all that out of the way, my curiosity is kind of strong for these things too, so uh, let's try some weird savory chips that taste like meat, apparently. Now this is the the Reuben sandwich flavored Pringles, which it, it shows on there, a Reuben sandwich with all the toppings. I've never had a Reuben sandwich before, so I'm not sure what all the toppings are. Let's see. This, this doesn't really tell you. The ingredients are dried potatoes, vegetable oil, degerminated yellow corn flour, cornstarch, and uh, all sorts of other salts and stuff. Art artificial flavors. This is not gonna tell me what what it's supposed to taste like. I'm guessing it's like, you know, roast beef and cheese and it looks like coleslaw and some sort of cheese sauce and marbleized bread. So let's see how many of those flavors I'm actually going to get into my face hole. Once you pop, you can't stop. I hear. That actually smells like a sandwich. That's really weird. I'm getting a very strong roast beef smell off of this. Holy crap! That's amazing! And frightening. Wow. And I'm getting, like, pickles, I think? I don't know what... I can't really place the scent that I'm getting, but it just... Sandwich and toppings, and I guess that's a, a sauerkraut or coleslaw or whatever that is. I don't know what that is on the sandwich. Whatever. Now, the last time I had Pringles, we had the roasted turkey Pringles. And those, you couldn't tell the flavor unless you licked the chip, which is weird, right? So, we're gonna try the chip first, and if we don't get the flavor, we're gonna lick it. Because, apparently this is what my life is now. Okay, it does taste a little different than your standard Pringle. Kind of does have a weird little meaty flavor to it. It doesn't look any different than a regular Pringle. I mean, there's a little bit of different color on there. I'm assuming that's your standard flavor flakes. But I'm not really sure exactly, again, what it's supposed to taste like because I've never had a Reuben. These aren't bad, they're pretty tasty. 
Let's lick it and see if we get any different flavors. It tastes about the same, very salty, but pretty good. Yeah, no, this is this is not a bad chip. I'd get these. I'd get these as a side with a Reuben sandwich, because I've never had a Reuben sandwich before and it, it seems like a good idea. So that was pretty tasty. Now we're moving on to the rotisserie chicken Pringles. Yes, once again, we've taken a dinner flavor and put it in chips. I've had rotisserie chicken flavored candy canes, was it? I think it was candy canes. I can't even remember. And I had the roasted turkey Pringles last time. Now we have rotisserie chicken. Let's try this. I, I don't know what the obsession is with making your food taste like other food, but it's kind of the reason I do this show, because I, I find food that tastes like other food interesting. Especially like poultry. Making food taste like poultry is weird because people say everything that you don't recognize the flavor of tastes like chicken. I recognize the flavor of Pringles. It tastes like Pringles. It tastes like potato chips, kind of. Making that taste like chicken is weird and kind of overkill. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. Well, no, I think I actually am here to judge exactly kind of what I do. But regardless, let's judge these. Not really getting a strong rotisserie chicken f scent off of this. It just kind of smells smoky, kind of? I, I can't really describe it. It's a, it's a little hard to, to decipher. Again, they don't look too different. A little bit of flavor flakes. Can't really tell with the light, but with a little bit of what looks like salty discoloration. But we're gonna try this. It doesn't really smell different. Didn't really get anything off of that. So we're gonna try another one. We're going to lick it. Okay, just like the roasted turkey one, when you lick it, there's an aftertaste of cooked poultry. That's bizarre. Again, not bad, just really weird. And how often are you gonna lick your chips? What happened there, I was trying to lick it, and then it broke a tiny piece and just went all into my face, so I ate it. Like you do when you put food in your mouth. They're not bad either. I was expecting at least one of these to kind of be terrible, but they're not terrible. They're not great. I probably wouldn't get the rotisserie chicken one any other time. The Reuben one I might. But they're Pringles that taste like meat. It's neat. It's a, it's a thing that they've made. So yeah, savory Pringles, it's a thing. Well, that's it for this episode. That was really kind of straightforward. I expected to hate at least one of those, and I didn't. But admittedly, I do like a lot of weird things. I keep trying to find weird things in stores. This is a bad thing for me to do. This is not great for my health, probably. But at least it's entertaining, I hope. Anyway, if you like this, if you like any of the previous episodes, give me a like, a share, maybe subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of these, consider supporting me on Patreon, because the, the money that I get from there helps me make more of these videos, music videos, brand new songs every month, and all sorts of other cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's staying safe and uh, wash your damn hands. We'll see you next time. Bye! Who needs sandwiches and dinner entrees? Just make everything chips. That's what the future's gonna be like. Everything will be on chips. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh-uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh-huh. You know I'ma eat it anyway.